Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I just wanted to do a quick review on this foundation that I found recommended by Kathleen Lights because I love her. And usually everything that she recommends always works for my skin for some reason. So I figured I would show you this foundation because it has quickly become one of my favorites. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder Foundation, and I am in the shade R260. Typically, I never, ever, would ever use a powder foundation because my skin is usually more on the dry side, but it is summertime now, so the weather is a little bit hotter, so I figured I might as well just give it a go. This is what it looks like on the inside. It does come with like a little applicator sponge. Online they do actually talk about how you can use this applicator sponge on both sides. So one side is more of a velvet sort of finish and the other side is more of a dense sort of foam finish. To be honest, I haven't even really used the dense side of this because it is supposed to give you more of a full coverage sort of look because this velvet side of the sponge has actually been amazing and I think applies a generous amount of the product to your skin already. I find no issues with using this side and I think it just looks a little bit more clean in the package when you put it away and this is showing because this just kind of looks, you know, dirty. This foundation is marketed toward all skin types so if you have dry skin, oily skin, or you're more on the normal side, this should work perfectly for you. I've had this foundation for about a week or so and I have used it non-stop. I've had no issues putting my concealer and my other cream products on top of this foundation. Everything seems to blend pretty smoothly and I've had no issues so far. Makeup Forever states that this product is a 12 hour wear. I have worn this foundation for lengthy periods of times and I've seen no separation. It doesn't come off of my skin and it usually stays pretty much the same. I will say that it will get a little bit shiny over time if you do have oily skin, but I don't really suffer from that problem so it typically will just look the same on my face. Thumbs up to Makeup Forever. I do use a setting spray when I do my makeup because if I don't use one, I feel very weird. So I'm not sure if my setting spray is helping keep the foundation on or if it's just the product itself. Like I said before, this has quickly become one of my favorites and I think that if you are in the market looking for a new foundation to try, I would 100% give this one a go because I would 10 out of 10 recommend. One of the other qualities I really like about this foundation is that it is so easy to apply. It takes no time at all because of the sponge applicator. You literally just wipe it on your face and you're good to go. It is more of a full coverage foundation, so if you're looking for something more on the light side of things, this probably won't be for you, but it does cover all of my freckles, all of my redness, anything I have going on on my face, it seems to just erase it and eliminate the look of my pores. So it is a blurring effect on the skin. Apparently, this means blurring. I did film a quick updated makeup routine that I will be playing shortly after I finish talking, so if you guys wanna check that out, just stay tuned and you can see some of the products that I have been using. I haven't filmed one of these in quite some time, so I really hope that you like this video, and if you do, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe. Yo, chick with me, she do what I say so. 
talk that shit, boy, you gon' get a halo. Yeah, I keep it real, I don't play pretend. I don't really give a fuck who I offend. I ain't sorry, I ain't here to make a mess. Money on my mind, I'm focused on my best. Fake friends on my phone, just like a ring ring. I'm missing, cause I'm out doing my own thing. My phone ringing, never shut up, man, I hate this shit. Got the studio right inside the basement. VIP, yeah, you know I got the bracelet. Whole crew on a stage, got the place lit. We got the place lit. Puma shirt. I found this on sale for like 15 pounds at the Puma in London. So if you're in the area, I also recommend this t-shirt. Thank you guys so much again for watching this video. And if you do like it, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe. And I will catch you next time. <laughs>